Okay, everyone. Uh, welcome back to Virginia. I'm not in DC today. I'm back home in Virginia. I am uh, heading back to the dealership, the car dealership, because I had my uh, my uh, car serviced, and it took more than a few hours. So I thought I'd uh, leave the car there and then go out have some lunch for a little bit, and then. But now they just called me and told me my car is ready to go. So I'm going back to the dealership now to pick up my car and to also maybe look at new cars because I kind of want to buy a new car. My car that I'm driving now is kind of old and beat up and I kind of have a feeling that I want a new car. What do you think? Should I get a new car? If so, what kind should I get? Comment down below. You think I should get a Honda? Hondas are pretty reliable, but I've never driven a Honda really. I've pretty much driven just Toyotas my whole life. Toyotas and Yamahas. But Hondas are pretty nice too. Pretty good cars. Think about getting like a Honda Civic, you know, a nice, simple, cool looking car. But I'm also thinking about getting an SUV, you know, because it's more, you know, practical for me. Or should I get a Nissan? What do you think? Should I get a Nissan? Nissans are pretty cool too. Nissans and Hondas and Toyotas. That guy's flying. That guy's fast and furious. He's uh, compensating for a small okay so here's the nissan dealership let's look at the new cars here's a new suv look at that look at that beautiful suv look at these beautiful suvs wouldn't mind buying one of these look at that huh nice black look at the tires the wheels nice solid wheels and uh yeah And here's a Nissan, uh, here's a Nissan truck. How about a truck? The truck looks nice too, right? I put all kinds of uh, stuff in the back. Here's another beautiful Nissan SUV. There's some more trucks over here, look. Want a new truck? Yeah. I can help you move if you need to move. And here's some more Nissan's. All right. What do you think? Should I? Should this be my next car? Huh? What do you think? Which one do you think would be good for me? This one, the 911 Carrera, or the other one over here? What do you think? This one looks nice, though. Cruising down the boulevard. This one's a lighter silver one. Kind of like that one. Maybe how about one of these for me? The Fast and the Furious. But in my case, the slow and the cool. Okay, service is done and now I'm just going to get out of here. If we go close to the gate, it should open. All right, so here we go. Here we go, coming out now. This is the dealership that I went to. Let's take a little drive around just to see what kind of cars they got here. Uh, they got all kinds of cool cars here at the Nissan dealership. Uh, oh, went the wrong, wrong, down the wrong way here. Uh, I think we should go down this way. Anyway, see all the cool cars? Which car should I buy? Let me know. Should I go down this way? Take a look at all the cool cars. These are 2015. These are used cars, but they're still pretty nice cars. They're still better than the one I drive right now. Mine is like 20 years old. But these cars are a little bit newer, but they're used, but they're a little bit newer than my car. And they've been uh, refurbished and taken uh, care of by the, uh, by the dealership here, right? Yeah. 
So, I don't know, I think I want to buy a new car. After seeing all these new cars, I think I want to buy a new car. Three days later. <sighs> well, another sign that things are getting back to normal is that traffic is getting back to normal. Right now, I've been stuck in traffic for about an hour here on the freeway, and it is not moving at all. I have not moved a single inch in about an hour. I'm in the middle of a project here, if you don't mind. I bought this uh, beautiful, beautiful Sonny Jurgensen Danbury Mint statue. Uh, I bought him for a good price of $30. Usually, this thing sells for about $200, but I got a good deal on this. I got it for $30 because of one reason. It's missing the base, that's all. So, what I'm doing now is I'm making a base. See this? I bought this little piece of wood here for five bucks. And I'm going to drill holes to put Sonny Jurgensen's feet in. And then I will stain it, wood stain, and it'll be a beautiful display base for my Sonny Jurgensen figure, okay? Let's do it. Drill a hole right over there. All right, so here's the stain I'm going to be using to stain this base. Minwax wood finish. It's turning into a beautiful dark mahogany wood finish. Just the way I want it. Why buy a complete Sonny Jurgensen figure for over $200 when you can buy just a figure for $30 and then just make a beautiful base like this. Now, where am I going to grip it while I paint the last section here? Hmm, you know, I didn't really think this through. And there we have it. The finished uh, pedestal, the base, for my Sonny Jurgensen statue. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There is the great Sonny Jurgensen on his base, his pedestal, his homemade pedestal that I made. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's the great number nine, Sonny Jurgensen, Hall of Famer, the great Washington Redskins quarterback. And look, there's even a picture of him right there. See? That's Sonny Jurgensen. Same uniform, almost the same pose as the statue. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Sonny Jurgensen, everybody. So this is how I paint my helmets now. I don't paint indoors anymore. I found that to be a little bit uh, unhealthy. So I paint outdoors now. I hang it up on the street, as you can see. And I paint out here. This is my latest project. It's a Washington Redskins Speed Icon Helmet. Okay, here's my latest helmet here. This is a yellow helmet with a burgundy R on it. Uh, looks pretty cool now. I just need to add the pads, face mask, chin strap, and the decals to the back. And it'll be done. Another work of art. Ta-da! And now it is all done. Another masterpiece by me. It is a Washington Redskins helmet in yellow. And instead of the regular logo, it's the R logo. Okay? That's cool. And now it's off to take photos of it. Okay, everyone, welcome to the upper deck of the parking garage here at my mall. I'm just here to take a few pictures of my newest helmet, which is right there. See that? I'm gonna take a picture over here by the Macy's. As you can see. See, there's the nice background, the Macy's, right? see? That will be a perfect background for my helmet. And there's my helmet, ladies and gentlemen, right here at Macy's. Shop at Macy's and love me tonight. Here at the mall. As you can see, there's my helmet. There's the parking lot down there. 
and we are on the top level of the Macy's parking lot with my brand new creation of my helmet as you can see right here where the background says Macy's Macy's oh Macy's shop at Macy's now White flower day at Macy's. well this is another rooftop parking deck of the same mall we got a nice shot of this Macy's entrance here, but it's not as nice as the other Macy's. But I'll take a few pictures over here as well, just to see, just to have a variety of, uh, you know, a variety of photos that I can choose from. My car is being serviced again, but this time it's only an oil change. So I'm just kind of waiting for them to be done. They started about uh, an hour ago and they said it would take about uh, a couple hours, three hours, because you know, it's Saturday and they got a lot of people doing uh, service on their cars. So I have to wait a couple more hours. In the meantime, I guess I'll just walk around the area here uh, let's go into this dollar store over here and let me show you what kind of goodies are in the dollar store today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the dollar store, more specifically the Dollar Tree. There are many uh, brands of dollar stores here in America. There's Dollar Tree, there's Dollar General, and there's a lot of little independent dollar stores around America. Uh, but mainly Dollar Tree is the biggest one. Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and uh, Family Dollar. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. Maybe I'll buy that. Little Justice League minifigure. Batman. You want to buy it? There's only one left. There's only one left, man. I think I want to buy that. They also got Iron Man here. Iron Man. I am Iron Man. That's pretty nice. Oh, Spider-Man in the back there. You got Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Spider-Man and Iron Man. And Batman. I think I want to buy this Batman though. Yeah, I'm going to buy this. Oh, look at this, little toy soldiers, huh. Little toy soldiers like the one I played with when I was a kid, you remember? Remember the little plastic toy soldiers that we played with when we were kids? These seem kind of smaller than them though, but same basic idea. You know, a lot of 
Soldiers standing, kneeling, going prone, crawling. Hmm, interesting. Well, since summer is coming, pool season is coming, well, hopefully the pools will be open. And this is uh, what you play with in the pool. It's called a pool noodle. See that? It's a pool noodle, baby. And you put it, you play with it in the pool, you get it all wet, you slap each other around with it, and that's pretty cool. Here's another thing you can play with in the pool. It's a water squirter. Water squirter rod. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh nice. Now you put water in there, and then you push this back, and it squirts water out the side, the end there. Oh nice, huh? That's kind of a lethal weapon there. Yeah, put the water in here. How do you put the water in? I don't know. And then you shoot it forward to, to shoot the water out like that. Oh look, they got tracks for Hot Wheels. Look at that. Look at that. You can buy a bunch of these and make a whole, you know, racing track. But where are the Hot Wheels? Where are the Hot Wheels you put in them? That's what I'm asking. Maybe they're around the corner. The Hot Wheels are around the corner, maybe? Well, they got a lot more toys here. Look at this. We got more make it blocks. Oh, look at this, Eric. Look at this cool plane. What kind of plane is that? Nice. It's a nice uh, die cast airplane. Here are the little ring caps for your uh, for your little uh, ring cap gun. They sell the ring caps, but they don't sell the guns. That's kind of weird. They assume you already have the gun to put your ring caps in so they don't sell it. Anyway, here's some miniature guns for your little figures. Got all kinds of nice little miniature guns in there. Oh, here are your miniature figures. Final Faction. And this is Steadfast. Who is Steadfast? What's Final Faction? I never heard of that. Steadfast is a character from Final Faction, and so is this guy, ACRM, some kind of robot. And this lady here named Shift. This is Shift. Ooh, she's sexy. Sexy Shift. Ooh, yeah. Shift isn't selling too well. Look at how much they have here. A whole bunch of Shift. Yeah, that's a lot of Shift. Too much Shift. And this is, this is steel. Look at that. Oh, they only got one steel. Maybe he's selling really well. This guy's steel. Steel. Uh, what do we got in this box here? We got a little football. Oh, nice. A little mini football. And they do sell a lot of balls. Here's like a, here's like a, a paddle ball thing, you know? Yeah, that's cool. Little truck, little ATV, look at that. Little ATV. And here's some more toys here on the side. It's another one of those Final Faction characters. Ruck. Sergeant Ruck. Look at that, Sergeant Ruck. Sergeant Ruck. Kind of rip off of Sergeant Rock. Huh. Here's something you can give to your kids. A nice toy gun that's painted orange. They got a canteen in there, a knife, and a grenade. Nice. Weapons of war and violence. Something to teach your kids. Ooh, here's like the mother lo mother load of figures. Look, here's here's the little a little Superman. Oh, they got another Batman. I thought it was the only one they had left back there. Superman, Batman. Batman in black and the regular, you know, traditional Batman. See that? The Superman is nice. Look at Superman, huh? Oh, there we go. Look at Superman. His costume is all shiny and stuff. 
Maybe I'll buy that one. Oh, here's the flash. Look at the flash. We got two flashes. We got a lot of flash there. Yeah, here's the flash. Maybe I'll buy Batman and the flash. And Superman, what do you think? I'll buy all three of them. And the old school Batman. And they got they got Nemo. Look at that. Finding Nemo. Uh, this is their arts and crafts section here. This is what I need. I need double-sided tape. This is the kind I need. It's skinny. See? It's a skinny double-sided tape. They got this double-sided tape, but it's just uh, like little, little dots. Little pieces of double-sided tape. You got an apron. You got a palette for your painting. You got each stems might out of chenille. I don't know what you can use that for. You use it for something. And little pom pom cotton balls. Think you need that? They even sell the good book here at the dollar store. Here we go, Holy Bible. Get your soul cleansed for just a dollar. You could also buy household uh, tools here at the dollar store, like paint brushes and these hooks here. self these hooks. Down here, we got something I need all the time, which is duct tape. <coughs> Orange duct tape. It's not as thick as the duct tape you see in regular stores, but you know, for a dollar, it's not too bad. No, it's not too bad at all. Here's all your painting materials and and your tools, like your hacksaw. Here's a nice little hacksaw you can use for sawing. Oh, I do need a new, do I need a new cutter? New box cutter? Some more paint brushes. Some funnels for changing oil. Some duct tape, some tie downs. Look at the tie down. Some electrical tape. Some Armor All all purpose car wash. This is your car cleaning uh, section here. Well, our light bulbs. Some more lights. Oh, you know what? I do need a light, a lamp. But nothing like these, though. I mean, these are battery powered. I need one that you can plug into the wall. And here's your uh, iPhone stuff. Chargers, cases, cell phone cases. Here's your adapter for the car. And here's another iPhone case. Here's what I need. This is a, a microfiber cleaning towel. You see that? See how the material is a lot more uh, smoother and silkier than the regular cloth? That's what you need for, that's what I need for shining my helmets yeah because the other stuff is a little more abrasive than this microfiber is the best uh, I do need another a new toilet plunger look at that There's something about plungers that's very that's very artsy you know something I like maybe it's the shape that I like I am the toilet Jedi <laughs> Look at this, I've never seen this before. It's like a Rubik's Cube, but made out of wood. It's a wooden Rubik's Cube called the Brain Teaser. That's pretty interesting. I didn't know they, sailed, uh, they sold milk duds here at the dollar store. Milk duds. I love milk duds. I've forgotten how much I love milk duds. Uh, maybe I'll buy one. They also have uh, they also have whoppers. See that? Anyone love whoppers? I love whoppers. They're kind of like milk duds, but kind of bigger and more a little crunchier. Uh, uh, traditional M and M's here at the dollar store. Uh, raisinets. I don't like raisinets. 
I like raisins, but not raisinets. Well, I think I'll head back. I think I'll head back to the uh, the uh, car place now, the car shop. Even though they haven't called me yet to say that they've uh, finished with my car, but but I'm tired and I want to just sit down, and I'd rather just sit down at the car shop. Well, turns out my car isn't done yet. It's been a couple of hours, but. They, uh, they haven't even started with it yet, so it'll take a while. So I got hungry, so I'm going to have lunch. I bought lunch at Five Guys. I got a Five Guys burger here. And to wash it down, I got me a soda, so. Uh, I haven't had Five Guys in a while, so I thought I'd, uh, thought I'd have some Five Guys here. And a soda. Hmm, that's some good Coke. And a cheeseburger from Five Guys. Cheeseburger from Five Guys. Let's enjoy it while I'm waiting for my car. Good burger. Those of you who are curious what a Five Guys burger looks like, or a half-eaten Five Guys burger, this is what it looks like. Five Guys is delicious. Mm, yeah, Five Guys burger, baby. Oh yeah, much better than In-N-Out. 